hey love welcome back to my space if you're new here thank you so much for dropping by if you are in Ozzy, i see you so today we're going to do another diy and we're going to use these items you can see the bottle the spray paint the yarn the fagio so we're also using fagio this one or you can use um sticks or something else for decor we're also going to, to accessorize with buttons uh pearls and also this bottle top we're using it with this embossed paper at the end of this video hey so stick by eh? stick there and watch so these bottles i decided to paint them white um just to add some pop like i know white green red these are the christmas colors yeah so i decided to do white for my bottles and as i was spraying this i realized um why have all my bottles white why Mm, I can like plain smooth white. So I decided to do one and as you can see it came out super super cute You see you see I decided to just I don't spray be generous with this be generous Yeah, then the other bottle I decided to add pattern before spray painting and also I wanted to block this part So that it, when when I'm done spraying it's left with um, as a glass. Yeah, it, clear so that you, if you want to put your lights inside the bottle they can still show outside yeah so i decided to add pattern to this and as you all know this is how we do patterns this is how we do patterns we are together we have done this together and i know you you already know how to create patterns on anything using glue gun yeah it's this simple as you can see it's just uh putting glue gun with the patterns you want if you want polka dots you can do polka dots with this pattern with this glue yeah you can put dots on this any kind of pattern so for me as always i go for zigzag and i decided to do half the bottle downwards and half the bottle upwards and then i left the the, the middle parts like that i didn't i didn't add anything like the cell tape the tape is there to help you so that when you spray the bottle doesn't get uh sprayed at that part so any part that you put um tape you block the paints from going in and this one the patterns once you spray the patterns will have some bumpy bumpy pattern on this bottle your bottle will look so cute and different yeah so this is what i decided to do because i love patterns i truly truly love patterns so once i was done with this i decided to spray paint and this time i decided i was like why paint white i can do chrome because chrome looks amazing i know to my surprise chrome was silver yeah i knew it was silver but <laughs> this one it was it the bottle stayed chrome silver see see the way it looks see the way those buttons came out you see i love like i love doing diys i love crafting because my my heart ends up being happy feeling awesome then i decided to spray paint this broom yeah it's the normal of because i wanted to use them as accessory then back to my bottles these bottles as you remember we had we had three bottles so i decided to make um one bottle to wrap one bottle with yarns so i i went down all the way down with yarns with this bottle and when you're starting you can glue you can glue it when you're starting please start at the top maybe sijui bonus sequence at the top sijui sijui but anyway you start at the top you go down or you start at the bottom i feel like starting at the bottom of the bottle is, will be much easier because there's this kapat where the bottle where i'm holding the bottle has like a kapat and it, like it's changing shape that part is difficult if you start from the bottom ah, from the top part like okay answer from the open where that where where i started that that if you start from there it will give you headache at the point where the bottle is starting to take a different shape so i'll advise you start from the bottom of the bottle to wrap when you're wrapping start at the bottom and then you come all the way to the top so we wrap we wrap this bottle we wrap this is the easiest thing to do like it's super easy to wrap and as you wrap make sure that they're closer together you can use glue just to hold them down but not every time not everywhere so for me i decided to start with glue where i was starting my starting point and then i started i wrapped down all the way down with no glue then i was done for the bottle that i ha had green i wrapped at the uh, at the top part at uh, the bottom hey 
what am i saying the bottle with where i painted as you can see those painted bottles i added yarns at the top then you remember tape this is where we're removing our tape and see see that bottle is left clear so if you're going to add lights to this bottle trust me that bottle will have a clear you'll have a clear watch on the on it so back to this bottle that i i did yarn wrapping we are going to decorate these bottles you remember us having buttons at the top at the start of this video this is where my buttons are coming in this is where our buttons are coming in so i decided to place three buttons um down onto this bottle just for decorating and it made this canini look like like a small like a snowman it's not like a snowman but yeah it's kind of like a snowman it looks like a snowman with some jacket taking on a button no energies or buttons these buttons are legit like these buttons look so 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 cute so i decided to decorate this bottle all the way then i went in with um yarn these yarns the red one i wanted to make uh to create a scarf but if you don't have yarns you can use another uh, piece of cloth just something else if you have something else that you can use piece of cloth is much much easier you can also use paper like those paper you know the the carrier bag papers the the new papers in kenya you know you can use a red one to make a scarf so for me i went in with yarns because i didn't have that all that and then i came and glued down these at the shingle like on an upper penny meeting and that was my neck that was my neck this acted like a neck to me yani shingo <laughs> so i decided to wrap these yarns around and then took a different shape you know the way you 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 do um an infinity scarf and then you drop it just in there eh? like fashionable way of doing infinity scarf this is what i did with this bottle so i wrapped the yarn all around the kashingo and then down to the buttons and then past the button where just be above the buttons hey above the buttons i decided to glue it down yeah so once it's done you glue it down so that it can hold yeah just don't don't leave it just like that like it can go can go ka. so you glue it down after you've made you've wrapped it around the neck let's just say that's our neck yeah and then i glued it at the end at the bottom where the tips the tip of that yarn but I, I not kabisa kabisa because i left some part hanging just so that it looks like a uh, a legit scarf and you're done like that man already has a scarf you can already tell what i'm doing with this bottle because yeah i'm creating like a small snowman and then i came in with this black paper i told you we're going to use this paper so this embossed paper i created a larger circle with this paper and i did cut two what what do you mean with cut two cut two is i did cut two circles yeah two small circles they are not small but they're big but they're small again <laughs> like i did two, two, two circles so that i had two pieces yeah this is what you call cut two then i glued them um together but not when gluing i glued the edges not everything like not the middle of this uh paper or anything the circle so i glued at the edges all around because why because we are going to cut the center of this once you have done you can shape it skidogo i went back to this bottle because i felt like it was it was kind of empty so i know you're asking why she's going back and forth back and forth this because these bottles were drying at different times yeah the bottles were drying the spray paint was drying at different time and also creativity was hitting at different time different points you know when you're doing something and then a little creativity comes in creativity comes in and you're like ha yes let me go back to that bottle this is what happened with me this is what was happening when i was doing this day away but again we move on regardless because yo so i added pearls to this uh bottle where we had those spaces like where we had a clear space i added pearls because i felt like it needed an outside pop uh and because for me i'm not doing lights yeah you know so if you're doing lights you can just leave it like that but because me i wasn't doing lights i decided to just add pearls and then our broom was painted also so i had to put this is what i was doing this bottle for i was decorating my bottle with broom the nature just trans like is a meat is a figure then back to our heart 
this one i was waiting for that cut top cut ka bottle top to dry so we are back to it so as i told you we are going to cut the middle so i had to draw where the top bottle will be and as you can see i already know you know what i'm doing i'm going to make a what is it called um mm, a heart i'm going to make to create a heart with these god papas or they're called what nowadays hmm? the you see like we're going to cut where i've drawn we cut it pole 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 you can use uh, wembe for me i used um a seam ripper to do this so it gave me a clear circle then i glued down this bottle top say told the paint of this bottle top i glued this bottle top and now we have our kahat and to hide the the glue guns where the glue guns were in nini i used this black yarn you can go in with any color but for me i wanted uh heart to be black so that's why i i went in with black black yarn but you can use red as we said red green white these are christmas colors yeah these are christmas colors so you can use them but for me i went with black because i wanted that uh, federo heart is it called federo for yeah to be black <laughs> whatever it's called god papas yeah to be black so once i'm done i decided to glue it onto this mouth bottle mouth there eh? onto this opening of this cupboard <laughs> <laughs> decided to do that then i i i added a little beads black beads pulse beads to create to match up and this no man was done this man was done this man like look it's already a man after doing those two pulse this person looks like it's looking at you and then you are done and then you can decorate your house like that just see how those bottles look cute just see what we created at this point i'm super super excited because i haven't even decorated my table tree but with these bottles i love how they turned out look at our snowman look at our snowman look at the other bottles look at can you even tell those are vifagios yeah so guys you can decorate you can do this so thank you thank you so much for dropping by if you haven't liked this video please go back and like it comment like and share thank you thank you thank you merry christmas and a happy new year so guys till next time bye bye i love you guys bye